car. All I know is I'm up in here. I'm putting put brakes on. He never saw me after that. <laughs> okay, now that we're all here, I will call to order the December uh, monthly meeting of the uh, Wilton Town Board. And uh, sorry, this is an inconvenience for the time change, but um, something needs to be done. So anyway, we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Also. Supervisor Johnson? Here. Councilman Stryker? Here. Councilman Bogardis? Here. Deputy Supervisor Lamb? Here. Councilman McEachran? Here. Okay, before we get into the agenda, um, I do have a, uh, a plaque that I'd like to present to Councilman Stryker. Um, Steve has served on the town board with distinction for the past eight years and most significantly he's uh, been the liaison to Gavin Park and uh, you all know how great park what a great park Gavin Park is and Steve has had a lot to do with making that park as great as great as it is so I have this plaque which I'll read um, it's presented to Steve Stryker by the Wilmington Town Board in recognition and appreciation of your eight years as town councilman and liaison to the Parks and Recreation Commission. Our best wishes on future endeavors and stated today and signed by the town board. And uh, I would just like to add my personal thanks. Uh, Steve has been a great asset to me and the town and he's helped me anytime I asked Steve for anything, he was always, always there for me. So Steve, Steve. Thank you, Supervisor Johnson. Uh, it's been a great honor for me to be on the, this town board and uh, representing all the residents of the town. Uh, it went by very quickly. When I first started, I think I had a full head of hair. I think many of you remember. <laughs> it's growing oh, no. back. <laughs> no, okay, maybe that was my mistake. But now it's been a great honor and pleasure to serve with everybody on this board, all our supervisors, all our our. our uh, employees that just make this town such a great place to live and work and be a part of so thank you very much Johnson by the Wilton Town Board and recognition and dedication and contribution and loyal service while serving as a town supervisor. Experience, knowledge, and hard work to steer the town a little in the right direction. The role as town assessor for 13 years, deputy supervisor for eight, and supervisor for 17 years, 38 years of service. And leadership has guided the town of Wilton to the future. Made it a great place to live. I should say the best place to live. Work and raise a family. We were all fortunate to have ex experienced your accomplishments. The town board, employees of the town, and its residents, thank you for your service. Best wishes and happy and healthy retirement. Thank you, town board. And I want you to know it's an honor and a pleasure to serve with you and being your friend.
together, we accomplish many good things. We all can be proud of it. And I believe Lowell is a better place through our efforts. I would be remiss if I did not recognize and thank our town employees. They are the backbone of the town government. Wilton employees from top to bottom are second to none and have always gone above and beyond whenever necessary. A personal special thanks to Nancy Riley, who has been with me since the beginning. She's always had my back. I uh, also want to thank and recognize the volunteers who serve on our various boards. They sacrifice their personal time and give back to the community and contribute significantly to the success of the town. The person most likely to regret my retirement is my wife Sandy. She's out there. You have seen more of me than uh, <laughs> she's behind the chair. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Um, but I wish the best to incoming supervisor, John Land, the new town board members, Ray O'Connor and Aaron Colligan, for a uh, seamless transition and will continue to mis make this town a great town, even great. So I wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and safe and Happy New Year. More important, I'd like to thank Mrs. Johnson for all the sacrifices she made for 38 years and putting up with them. Thank you, Jane. Okay, um, public comment here. We have one person sign up, Scott Kingsley. You know, one other thing you forgot. Whoever wants to go down a wishing well later, John McCachran's buying a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. Scott Kingsley, 105 Traver Road. Um, just what is a, uh, a native and a 44 year resident of the town of Wilton, I just wanted to also thank Supervisor Johnson and Councilman Stryker on their uh, last board meeting and an end to this chapter of their public service careers. Uh, Artie, you, uh, you might not realize this, but uh, you're kind of responsible for my uh, me getting involved in local politics back in 2001 uh, after I uh, came back to Wilton after uh, my wife and I we got married, decided to move up to Wilton, and I uh, came to a town board meeting to see what was going on. On the agenda, there were interviews for a zoning board of appeals. Uh, I don't know if you remember this, you were chairing the meeting because uh, Roy McDonald was sick. And I said, listen, I'm, I'm interested in what this is all about. Can I get an interview? No problem, Scott. New interviews are after the meeting. Uh, well, I didn't get that position. I got a call the next day about a uh, spot on the Wilton Republican Committee. And, you know, 20 years later, uh, it's been, a, it's been, a, I want to thank you for that. And uh, Steve, great eight years. So thank you for your service as well. And uh, I want to also congratulate Supervisor-elect John on his election and uh, looking forward to working uh, with him and the town board in future years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, number four on the agenda. We have the minutes pending uh, from our November meeting. Is there a motion to accept the uh, minutes of the Second. Second. <laughs> Is there any requests for changes or amendments? No. Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Uh, next item is Purple Heart Community. Um, I got a letter from uh, Senator uh, Jordan that uh, would give us the opportunity to have the town uh, designated as a Purple Heart uh, Community. Um, this is a resolution here uh, that you have before you tonight um, that would, this resolution would designate our municipality, municipality, municipality as a Purple Heart uh, uh, community. Um, if we, we pass this resolution in the future, we may be able to um, have a sign prepared and put it in a prominent location and possibly invite some of our veterans organizations and have a dedication uh, to the sign. But I would ask Councilman McCachran if you would just read the resolution. Sure. Whereas the people of the town of Wilton have great admiration and utmost gratitude for all the men and women who have selflessly served their county and this community in the armed forces, 
And whereas the veterans have paid the high price of freedom by leaving the families and communities and placing themselves in harm's way for good of all, and whereas the contributions and sacrifices of the men and women from the town of Wilton who have served in the armed forces have been vital in maintaining the freedoms and ways of life enjoyed by our citizens. And whereas many men and women in uniform have given their lives while serving in the armed forces, and whereas many citizens of our community have earned the Purple Heart Medal as a result of being wounded while engaged in combat with an enemy force, construed in singularly were a Taurus act of essential service. And whereas December 5th has been officially designated as the town in the town of Wilton to remember and recognize veterans who are recipients of the Purple Heart Medal. Now therefore be it hereby resolved that the town of Wil the town of Wilton Town Council hereby proclaims the town of Wilton as a Purple Heart town, honoring the service and sacrifice of our nation's men and women in uniform who were wounded or killed by the enemy while serving to protect the freedoms enjoyed by all Americans. Is there a motion to adopt that resolution? I'll make, make a, a motion. motion to adopt it. And I'll second. I'll second by my third packing here. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. The resolution will be forwarded to Senator uh, Jordan's office and she will then forward it to the National Purple Heart Coordinator and will be recognized by the state on the national uh, website. Yeah. <coughs> Next we have a couple of road dedications. First is Pine Bark Place. Ryan. Yeah, so uh, this road is actually over um, in the south side of Route 50 off of Edie Road, subdivision there, and the uh, developer is wishing to have the road uh, accepted by the town at this time. Have you inspected it acceptable? It yes. Carter. Okay. Okay. Motion to, to uh, accept down. Pine Bar Place. I'll make a motion we accept the Park Place. I second that. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Next is another road dedication, part of Berkeley Way and Monterey Court. This is the phase two of uh, Sonoma Grove subdivision off of Loudon Road. Uh, the board accepted the phase one of this project uh, a couple years ago. So this is the phase two. There are, uh, it's an extension of the Berkeley Way and a new cul-de-sac uh, Brentwood Boulevard. Have been out, uh, Kirk Woodcock and myself have looked at this road and they find it acceptable. And I believe Sue has received all the documents as well for okay. this road. I would like to make a motion to make accept a motion to accept Barclay Way and Monterey Court. I'll second it. Okay, a motion and a second. Any questions or discussion? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So moved. Uh, next, we have one line extension proposed for Davidson Drive. Mike Looney is here to talk to us about that. Yeah, um, my name is Mike Mooney. I run the Water and Sewer Authority here in town. I'm here with uh, Frank Tabernet. Um, Frank, along with uh, other residents on Davidson Drive, have uh, gotten together over the past few months to try to uh, start a water district extension to service uh, their street. Um, so the first thing that uh, they did was they went around um, and asked the residents if they would be interested in tying into the water um, along with a preliminary estimate of what it would cost. Um, so we are at the point now that uh, preliminarily they have uh, 19 properties in the district. Um, 13 properties have preliminarily voted yes to the extension. Um, one property is owned by the state of New York, so I believe they'll participate. It's just a matter of getting the right person. And five property owners did not respond. So uh, it was a form and a yes and no. You just didn't get the form back. So that's kind of where it stands. Um, creating the district, the next process is creating a, a maps, plans, and report. Um, the Water Authority has commissioned that work will probably be done in two or three months. 
then after the mass plans and reports are done, um, uh, those will be available for viewing. Uh, and then at that point, a, petition, <laughs> a formal petition will go around. Um, and if 50, over 50% 50 of the assessed value in that area votes yes, that will form a district and the district will be created. Um, the financial part of it, uh, the Wilton Water and Sewer Authority Board um, will finance the whole thing and then just get reimbursed over the years uh, on the tax code. So it's up to the town. We get a petition to create the tax district. Right, create the tax district and then uh, add the district fee onto the tax bills. And then we just pass it on to the one or two. How many years is it spread out? It's 20 years. 20 years. Um, and I'm assuming everybody that voted yes agreed to that they know all about that part of it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How, yeah. Much is it, how much does it cost for a resident to hook into the water? Well, in this case, with the water line extension going down the street, it's going to be $850 uh, per, per year. Uh, it does seem like a lot of money, but um, if a well goes bad, they're all on well points, which are no longer allowed in New York State. Right. And so to be able to sell their homes. Drill, right. Exactly. Right. We have a case right now on Northern Pines Road where the sale did not go through and they have to hook up to the uh, how much is it for them to hook up on Northern Pines? Uh, is it different prices for different residents? Uh, the only exception it, 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 it is them, but typically it's $3,200 uh, uh, by the If the water's already in front of the, if the water's already in front. So, so this so is much more. This is more. We have to run a uh, 8 inch water main down the road. Just the main out in the road is about $100 a foot. So it's, it's pretty expensive. I'm going to assume there's hydrants going to be put in there as well. Yes, I like hydrants. <laughs> yeah. Nancy, a uh, question. Is that that 3,200 is just Wilton Water Sewer Authority's fee to hook in? It's not the fee that is charged by a plumbing company or whatever their title is that actually hooks you in, correct? Correct. And runs your line that's from correct. that connection. That's correct. That's just a fee to connect. It's not correct. the actual Absolutely. connection. Yeah, and in this particular case, they'll pay that and they'll get a water bill just like everyone else. And the concept of this is this group is going to cover all of their own costs to tie it in so that uh, there's no impact to any other residents that this is going to be. So, well, uh, like a resident on Traver Road, need to hook into the line. It's $3,200 to hook in. Correct. Plus their, plus plus their, plus their whatever their costs are. Right. right. But so uh, on the Davison Drive that you're referring to, is that tied into the $850 a yes, year? Yes, All right, so they won't have to pay anything. Okay. That's everything. Good. Yep. That line runs right to the foundation. Correct. It's going to be to the corner of the house. So you just got to pay to have it brought in. The garage. Oh, that's to the house. Not right. Too All right. That's it's cheap. What, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, Mike, the next step is when once you get the petition petition signed by 51% of the people, you'll come back to us? Yes. Yep. So it's four years or basically what would be a typical, actually it'd be more like six years. If you figure 3,200 to tie plus the plumber. What do we done, sorry? Well, if it's 3,200 to tie in mm -hmm. and then you have plumber fees, that's probably another 2,000. That's 5,200. So at eight for the first... Oh, gotcha. Yeah, for the they're, first, uh, so basically they're paying uh, 15 years right. instead of. But the big cost of the project right. is running the. Yeah, but you're paying it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry, can I ask another question? Sure. So the 850 is a tax. Mm -hmm. Everyone in that district yep. is paying that tax. Yep, just these 19 people. Yep. Right. So that gets them all hooked up and running? That gets them to the, the, corner of the foundation. Uh, water line to the corner <coughs> of their house and a uh, meter inspection of all, all that stuff. So um, then they just have to hook from the corner, corner of their house, house. So they don't have a 3200. No. They don't have a 3200. They just have no. the plumber hook up actually. Right. Hook it up from there. the corner of the house into the house. So it's 850 a year for 20 years. Correct. And that's a preliminary estimate. The purpose of the mass plans and reports is so we can get that dialed in better, but uh, we feel like that. We want so that's Smith Bridge Road done. 16,000. 17,000. 17,000. 17,000 per household. Oh. 
Any other questions? Okay, thanks, Mike. Can we get it to run down Mike. Smith Bridge? Mm -hmm. Can we get it to go Smith Bridge? I just want to thank you and your staff for a great job you do. But more important, I want to thank you and your staff, how you treat people with the courtesy and uh, professionalism. I've had many phone calls about you and your staff, brag about you, and thank you and your staff. Yeah, thank you. I'll actually uh, pipe in on that a little bit. Uh, as you know, I am a fire chief in this area. We had a fire hydrant hit about a month ago, and your staff was like right there with me. So it was, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to be waiting hours here. But uh, your staff was very quick and prompt to respond. And you didn't hit it, did you? Huh? You didn't hit it, did you? <laughs> not, that, not that one. All right. <laughs> Maybe one on the way here. Okay. Um, moving on, is there any committee reports? Well, I'm going to use my committee guy uh, to actually speak uh, um, I would like to thank you personally, Eric, for, the, for making Wilton what it is today. Your leadership has been able to take Wilton from the, where you first took over and moved it to the, for, the forward into the great place that it is now and today. A well-balanced and diverse town that is one of the jewels in the county of Saratoga. We have farming, commercial, retail, and residential and hamlet areas that are well balanced. And uh, it's all been under your leadership. Your leadership has always been a, uh, your forte. Your calm and even demeanor speaks volumes. When individuals speak during public comment and berate you for your lack of insight and direction, you are able to maintain your professionalism, allowing, to have, allowing them to have a voice to speak, never, never responding negatively to their misinformed or biased opinions. <coughs> Once again, thank you for the many years of uh, dedicated service to the town of Wilton. I wish you and, and, and your family and Sandy uh, luck in the future endeavors and, and God bless you sir. Um, Steve Stryker, uh, I want to thank you personally also for helping me transition into my role as a councilman here. Uh, your level-headedness and, and approach to all matters that came before the board is second to none. And I, I thank you for being a role model for me. I wish you and your family success in the future. And thank you for helping uh, the town of Wilton be the great place to live. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. That's my committee report. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good committee report. It was. It was an awesome committee I've had for two years. Okay. Anyone else? I just want to thank you both. Yeah, I, both I don't have a job, list. but well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your support as well. So. Yeah, thank you. Even though we we didn't see eye to eye on everything. That's because you're taller. Bro. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's because I'm taller. <laughs> Not than Steve. Steve's taller than me. Oh, close. Still could see I got. Okay. The only thing on a, on a committee report is you do have a, a letter there from the Saratoga County Soil and Water Conservation District just thanking us for allowing them to use our um, our conference room for a meeting. It worked out very well and uh, they appreciate that and probably want to use it in the future. And thank you, Kurt, for that big storm and your staff. Do a great job. Wil Wilton looked good. Wilton looked good. That's a good job. I don't ever want to see another storm like that again. <laughs> yeah, Kurt, that was great, your staff and crew. Uh, one other item tomorrow night is the tree lighting ceremony at Gavin Park. It's like 6 o'clock. Um, it's always a really a great event. We usually get thousands of people there. Probably the second biggest event other than Bark Fest, and uh, it's a good way to kick in the, uh, the Christmas season, holiday season, and the New Year. So, hope everybody can come out there and join us at six o'clock uh, tomorrow night. Uh, now, to you, Maria. Yes. The money first. <laughs> so our um, budget transfers are the same as every month, but you're just moving money from one um, account code to another just to uh, shore up our expenditures for the year. Do you have any questions? I make a motion to budget uh, transfers from 1 to 13 to approve them. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any other questions of Maria on the transfers or amendments? 
Okay, uh, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so moved. Okay. The second item is for personnel. Um, we have an employee who has um, an opportunity to work uh, outside employment, and he has already communicated with the town board in terms of um, his responsibilities here that won't conflict with his responsibilities in his outside employment, and the board is requested to approve his outside employment. All right, I talked to uh, Mrs. Hart, and she wants him out of the house more, so I make a motion to grant Marcus Hart his second job. I'll second that. <laughs> okay, a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? All right. <laughs> they got room for a couple more. <laughs> okay. Uh, motion carried. Uh, the next item under personnel is uh, the annual Association of Towns conference is coming up in February, and we have three employees that would request uh, going: Sue Baldwin, Dwayne Bogardis, and Ryan Riper. Uh, in addition, we have one um, member from the planning department and one member from the zoning department who would like to go as well, and they're requesting board permission since it's overnight travel. Make a motion. We allow them to attend the uh, annual Association of Towns. Any specific <laughs> any specific name or just a board? Uh, at this point, I don't have a specific name. Okay. Yeah. Usually the chairman of those boards right. selects someone. I'll second it. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. And lastly, under our other category, uh, Kirkland Woodcock is requesting town board approval for the sale of a weather guard toolbox, uh, which will be placed on auction if the board approves. I make a motion to sell it. Yeah, Kirk. Yeah, would you strike that off of that at this time, please? Yep. You need it now? Pardon me? Do you need it now? Mm -hmm. We'll discuss it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll table that. I request. resend my motion. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I see why now. You need the scanner in that box, don't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next item is the scanner. Um, Kirk is requesting that the town board approves the purchase of a diagnostic scanner. Um, this will help him to um, read, or his mechanic will be able to read diagnostics on all of the trucks in his inventory, uh, which would potentially save money going to a dealer to have to figure out what is wrong and then fix the problem. Um, brand. Does that come with training too? No. Training? Do they train you on it? Yes. What brand? Please say launch. I'm not sure of the brand name yet. We're still in discussions with, you know, oh, wait a the company. Minute. Which brand are you looking for? Snap on or Macro Tool. You got to get our quotes and stuff together to make sure that happens. Well, it, 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 it will be a name brand. It encompasses every vehicle from the pickup trucks to the big trucks. It will be a name brand like um, if Snap on or Mac. No, it'll be a brand name. Okay. Well, I just I just did a seminar on launch, so I the only thing I would request is you look into that as well. Uh, because I the Adirondack Truck Center is where I was when they put on the presentation and that too does your small all the way up to your large so and if are any of your guys used to the snap on platform I'm pretty sure but I'm not sure because if they're not the launch is the way to go if they're used to the snap on platform right then now it's, we it's hard to uh, Right now we have only a small portion of it, but we've been investigating this for quite a while, and the dollars and cents that we're farming but out is a certain I, effort. I, I, we realize that, and we'd I, rather have you do it yourself. Launch, launch goes, they update every minute of every day for a year. This company updates. Snap-on does it every two years. This company Would you just check into it, Kirk, what John says? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I make a motion we approve it. <laughs> the 10000 to buy the uh, scanner. I'll second that. I have a motion a second. Any other questions or comments on the scanner? Okay, there are none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? So moved. Okay, that concludes the agenda. Is there any other business uh, to come before the board? Uh, not. Motion to adjourn. Motion, motion to adjourn. adjourn. Motion.
Second. All in favor? Aye. Who seconded? I'm one of us. Okay. Call. Steve did it. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Happy holidays, everybody. Long, long stay.